and have grown so weary of the sound of screams. So guys, I'm sorry if like the window behind me is like making my face look like a disco ball. It's just like super bright and shiny. Um, hopefully the sun will will start to to go away a little bit. Happy Halloween to all my lovely internet friends out there that are watching me. So today what I'm doing is I am doing an October favorites video and this is my first favorites video. So this month was a super eventful month, what with my birthday and Thanksgiving and just like Halloween prep and fall prep and all that stuff. and. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to jump right into my favorites and yeah, let's go. I'm super late on this train, but I recently finished watching Stranger Things on Netflix. For those of you who have not watched it yet, I encourage you guys to watch it because for me, like I didn't think that I would like Stranger Things because I'm not really into like alien stuff. It's so much more than that. It's a story about a boy who goes missing, strange things happen. <laughs> and, and it's about his family trying to find him. And for those of you who have watched Stranger Things, let me know who was your favorite character because for me, it was definitely Jonathan. I know most people would say Eleven, but I'm gonna stay away from Eleven and just say probably Jonathan. So I bought this movie not too long ago and I saw it in theaters and I have read the book. The book is one of my favorites. Um, and if you are someone who loves wonderfully funny and also very complex love stories, then go check out Me Before You. You won't regret it, it is so good. And if you're gonna watch this movie, bring tissues because you are definitely gonna cry. There's no way you're not gonna cry. It's a story about Will Trainer, who becomes quadriplegic after a motorcycle accident and his carer, Louisa Clark, whom I adore and is the wonderful Khaleesi of Game of Thrones. We follow their relationship and, and how it progresses. For those of you who aren't into like sappy romantic films, it is definitely not like that. You will be laughing. Um, and it's not super corny or anything like that. If you're not into these types of movies, just give it a chance. Another film that I saw this month on my birthday weekend was Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. And this is a Tim Burton film and I am a huge sucker for Tim Burton. I love anything Tim Burton, except for Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I didn't like that one. Um, but apart from that one, <laughs> I love Tim Burton. This is a story about Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. It's exactly what the, the title says and I haven't read the book. I was going to buy the book before watching the film, but I decided not to because the book cover really creeped me out. <laughs> the beginning of this film, for me, I was a little bit like hesitant at first, the first like maybe 10 minutes because of the acting. And I'm referring to mostly the main boy character. But once the movie got going and it started to get peculiar, uh, the acting got better. Yes, I thoroughly enjoyed this film. I saw it with my dad and my sister and they both really enjoyed this film and my dad usually hates Tim Burton, so that really tells you something. This category, I'm gonna keep it short for people who just aren't interested in clothes. <laughs> this oversized sweater that I got from Forever 21 on the clearance section and it's a medium. Normally I'm a small, but they didn't have it and it ended up working out fine because it looks much better oversized on me anyways. And during this cold October month, it has been very handy. And then also another favorite of mine would probably be this t-shirt dress that I'm wearing right now. It's a very October color, orange, and it's super comfy and I've worn it too many times. This, I've been wearing this constantly. I've always wanted to get an ear cuff and I bought three of them. I just like how it gives like a slight bit of edge in my look. I've been going through a lot of anime and for me, when it comes to just like shows in general, it really has to grab my attention right from the beginning because I have a very short attention span when it comes to shows. My favorite anime that instantly, instantly grabbed my attention the second I turned it on was Sword Art Online. And I only watched the first season 
but I loved it. I thought, especially the first half of this of the first season, I could not stop watching. It follows a boy who gets stuck with other players, other real life players in a virtual reality video game. In order to get back to the real world, they have to beat the entire game and all 100 bosses. The catch is if you die in the video game, then you die in real life. And I just love how extreme that is. So the stakes were so high while I was watching this anime. Uh, and I was just captured from the very beginning. It's a great plot with great great characters and a strong female character, which I love. If you're someone who's into anime, who's into good stories, who's into video games, then you would probably like Sword Art Online. And Sword Art Online is on Netflix. For skincare, there has really only been one thing that I have been loving this month. That is the Tarte Drink of H2O Moisturizer and I got this at Sephora and I love it. It's super moisturizing. Whoa! I almost dropped it. And the smell is really nice and it's not like, it's not super overwhelming which is great um, because I have really sensitive skin. The formula isn't super thick but you feel it moisturizing your face. I would recommend this little guy. They also have the bigger size, I just have the sample size. It's not gonna be a hell of a long section. So I got for my birthday this Hourglass blush and it's in the color Diffused Heat and it's a lighting blush and there are like little sparkles in there. I didn't think that I would really enjoy having such a sparkly blush but Hourglass, they know what they're doing. I don't even know what the technology is in this stuff, but it looks amazing and I have it on today, but you can't really see it because of the sun. That's what it looks like. Ain't it pretty? I recently got this liquid eyeliner from e.l.f. and guys, this is super cheap. It's like four bucks and it works so well. And not only that, but they don't test on animals, which I love. This isn't so much a novel, but it is a book, and it's a book of poems, and it's called The Melancholy Death of Oyster Boy and Other Stories by Tim Burton. I mean, it's Halloween, we have to talk about Tim Burton. I will read you a tiny section of one of them that's called Voodoo Girl that I love particularly. She has many different zombies who are deeply in her trance. She even has a zombie who was originally from France. But she knows she has a curse on her, a curse she cannot win. For if someone gets too close to her, the pins stick farther in. Yeah. And it's actually a straightener, and I got a straightener instead of a curling iron because it's just multi-purpose. So if I need to straighten my hair, I can do it. If I need to curl it, I can do it with it. So it is the Numi hair straightener. <laughs> yeah, I believe this hair straightener is one inch. I will put a link in the description box for you guys to check out the hair strainer that they have on their website. And this I got at Winners for on a discount. I don't know how much the original price is, but this was only 40 bucks, which is insanely cheap for something that's such great quality. It, seriously guys, this is really good quality. This isn't sponsored, I swear. I just really love this thing. For this month's favorites with people, I'm going to shine some light on a newer YouTuber that I've been watching and it was kind of a surprise to me because I was just like going through Instagram and it kind of just like popped up and I checked out his videos and it's... Did you guys hear that kid? Shut up. His YouTube channel's name, his YouTube channel's name, that sounds so weird, his YouTube channel is called Kiko Gaming and I don't know if I pronounced that right. If I didn't, if I just like butchered it, let me know. <laughs> I will put a link to his channel in my description box. I was particularly drawn to the more scary, like jump scare horror games that he would play. Um, just because I kind of, I, I enjoy getting creeped out and scared. And he's currently doing a Halloween week where he plays like Halloween games, which I am like 
so for and it's so weird because I'm not a video game girl like I'll play video games but I'm not I'm not a gamer so it's so strange when I'm like oh new video <laughs> this guy playing a video game if you enjoy video games if you enjoy British accents then go check out Kyle's videos <laughs> so that is it for my favorites for October and I can't believe October is already done don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do if you guys want to see more Halloween videos and more just more content go check out my channel with my twin sister we upload very regularly my next video here will probably be a Newt Scamander Fantastic Beasts inspired video I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to do but we'll just have I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Much love. Be safe this Halloween.